let's talk about uh, habits for success in business, right? What, what have you seen in your own self and employees? Like, what would you say good qualities for an entrepreneur would be? Good qualities for an entrepreneur? Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hmm. Well, I can start. Uh, you need to be, ha be creative and be firm in your vision. And when you're creative, you're gonna have a lot of different ideas in your head. And then when you finally settle on one, you need to go with it and be able to withstand being doubted, being criticized, uh, and, and push forward anyway. Mm -hmm. You need to have uh, people skills, enough at least to deal with the immediate people that you're uh, handling. And you need to be aware of what you're providing to the society. So that, that, that's just a few. Yeah, uh, so, and I think what threw me off is um, questioning or questioning my, within myself, what stage of entrepreneurship are we talking about? Because um, there's, you know, in the beginning stages for me at least, there was, there's, there's the whole being committed, uh, being driven, having clear goals, um, willing to learn, willing to accept change, mm -hmm. awareness, follow through, you know, those are some of the things that helped me to start my journey off well and still carry me through my day to day right now, which we can all pick up and lay it over someone who's working at anywhere, you know, any employee. Okay. If they have those skill sets where they're following through on what they said they're going to do, they're showing up to work on time, you know, or showing up before the time so that they, when they hit their desk, they are prepared to begin their day. Um, people who are, you know, focusing on being highly productive. So if I was to take some of the things that I've learned right now and take it back to working at Hartford Insurance Company or anywhere else, I would learn how to be highly productive so that I can do more with less time. Okay. And still be able to go home. And I know some people would say, well, you can't do it with their, you know, with their jobs or what have you. And you can't do what? They, they would say, like, I can't get everything that I need to get done today today okay I think if we set great expectations and, and key benchmarks and then we put in place a plan to accomplish those things we can get the thing the, the most important things that need to get done today we can get them done and we can feel accomplished at the end of the day I believe Brian Tracy he either wrote a book I believe that he wrote a book called eat eat the frog first which, which means it's something to that effect. But it, it's basically speaking about doing the hardest thing, the most difficult thing first at the beginning of your day so that, you know, later on, yeah. if you don't get things done, at least those key things were done. Kind of the same 80-20 rule. So if employees, people who are working day to day right now, if they would focus on the most important thing to get the most results now, I think they're already setting themselves up for success. Well, there's something called um, productive procrastination, which is where you, you, there's something important that you have to do, but you do like less lower priority tasks because mm -hmm. you don't want to do the other one. Right. You think, I'm being productive. Right. right. I'm getting Busy. something done. Something done, you yeah, know? but this isn't the best thing to get done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think that's why that book comes into play so much, man. Eat the frog, eat the frog first. Eat the frog first. Um, just get it out of the way. Here's some things that I would do. If I have started my day and let's just say something happened, some hiccup occurred, and I didn't get to my office until three o'clock. And I know that I have to pick up my daughter by 5.30. I would look at those two hours, two and a half hours, and ask myself, on the list of things that I have to accomplish today, what is the most important thing that I need to do today to get XYZ results? And that is what I fill in in the two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. I work on that as best I could. If I just do work to stay busy for two and a half hours and still didn't hit the, he the heavy things, I just wasted my time. Okay. The more I get, to, it's kind of like when you're going on vacation. When you're going on vacation, do you know how much stuff you get done before you, you leave your home or leave the job? Like you do so much work because you know you're going to be gone for a week and a half and you don't want to get, you know, snowballed at the end. But what, what if we took that same mentality every day? Okay. So it's just shifting, you know, shifting okay. the where you're trying to go. Let's look at the let's look at going home to be with our kids, like taking a vacation, and then let's just bust up, you know, just bust out the, the the most work that we can. Mm -hmm. So I think if people would do some of those small things, you know, just be dependable, man. Um, how, how does someone feel when they get something 
out of, well, I'd say someone would probably feel really accomplished when they get the first thing, the hardest thing done yeah. at the beginning of the day. Yeah. And then everything else not only is easy, they're able to take on harder tasks then too, which can help them grow right? right. And, and grow their business or grow whatever it is they're mm -hmm. doing personally yeah. or, or otherwise. Whereas if they're just dragging for most of the day before getting the important thing done, that time is productive procrastination. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. feel good. And you, you, it's just a drag. And then yeah. you drag yourself into the big task. You probably don't do it as well because you, you're dragging before, you have a dragging momentum, yep. to, which is to say no momentum. Yep. <laughs> and just getting this first thing done immediately, just it just knocks it out. And then, and, then, and then everything, the feeling changes, which helps with that end goal of happiness. Absolutely. So through, I do have those the process. days. I have those days when, just like you explained, where I'm dragging through. I mean, I'm not perfect. So I have those days where I'm dragging through. And whether, whether I just didn't start the day off well or something kind of kicked me off course and I didn't have all my notes before me to just get back into the rhythm. Once I see that start occurring, if it occurs over an hour, like an hour and a half of me doing that, I call it a day. I just shut everything down. Screw it, I'm going home. And I go home. Sometimes I might go home and play video games just to like decompress. Yeah, well, it's, and start it's, the it, next day. Yeah, and you, you come back with a new vantage point the next mm -hmm. day. 